Hey all, this is Squeaky and I just want to do a quick video on how to enable better Twitch TV or Frankie Z emotes natively in your OBS Studio when you're using an OBS Studio without any plugins. For example, OBS Studio Portable. So if you're using Streamlabs OBS, you will automatically get this. And if you're using uh, OBS Studio with the Stream Elements Live plugin, you will also automatically get these better Twitch TV and Frankie Z emotes. However, if you're using OBS Studio without any plugins, I'm going to show you how to do it. But before I do that, I want to show you how I did it the wrong way first, meaning I added Twitch Chat into my OBS Studio without V's emote support. So let me just show you how I did it the first time around. So as you can see here, I have my OBS Studio running here, but if I go to uh, Twitch and if I go to the Create a dashboard. So this is how you typically would add your Twitch chat into OBS Studio. So this is your dashboard here and this is your chat. So what you can do here is to do a pop out. You can copy this URL here. Okay, so I have the URL to my Twitch chat here. I close this down here. I'll go back to the OBS Studio and in OBS Studio, you can do something called a browser docs meaning basically you can embed web pages into OBS Studio. So let me do this here and I'm going to add a new browser doc here and I'm going to call this Twitch Chat 2 and I'm just going to paste in the URL here. And as you can see, the chat is getting loaded here into our window and I can dock this into my OBS Studio like this. But the problem here is that we don't actually have any better Twitch TV support. So for example, if I type in Manka S here, you will see that we will get it in plain text. And this is because obviously you don't have the browser extension installed in OBS Studio here. So this is the wrong way to do it. So if you're using OBS Studio here, this is a better way to do it. So I'm going to close down this here again, and then I'm going to go over to my settings and then go over to stream. So as you can see here, I've done a custom here, but if I actually pick Twitch here and then actually connect to my account, let me just log in with my details here. You will actually see that a new menu option has appeared here and that is called Twitch chat add-ons. So OBS Studio apparently has this natively built in. So what we can do here is to actually enable both better Twitch TV and Frankie face Z emotes here. So if I press apply. So what has happened here is that OBS Studio has created browser docs specifically for Twitch. So if I press OK here and as you can see we have created two new windows here, but I'm just going to leave it here for the time being. Because if you go up to docs here, you will see that a bunch of new docs has been created here. For example, the chat, but also the stream information. And this is the chat that we basically uh, did ourselves, but this is the OBS version of the Twitch chat. And this has better Twitch TV. Let me just dock it here. This has better Twitch TV and Frankie Face Z uh, emotes. So if I type in Manka S here now, you will see that the emotes gets actually translated. And you can even open up the menu here, go to better Twitch TV settings. We can scroll down and we can enable the emote menu here like this. Then close it here again. You will see that we have the emote menu and we have no access to all the emotes in this menu. And you will be able to see all the emotes that your chat is spamming. So I hope that this video was useful for you and wish you a continued great day. Just watch me.